Good morning, folks. TCG back at it again with another video. I'm gonna come out ice fishing, but I'm only gonna come unless I'm sporting tough country gear. Hey, Black Crappy! Black Crappy, a little girl. Giant walleye. We put to get some birds. We're gonna take some chats. I got Doyle behind the camera. He's gonna be shooting this for me. Get it, Maggie! Good morning, folks. TCG back at it again with another video. Oh, we a little early today. I'm just shooting for no reason. I'm gonna go pick up my sled. I got a jerry can and the saddlebag put on it. Hopefully it looks good. If not, I'll be pretty choked. So anyways, going over to Power Sports World. We're gonna pick that up, alrighty? Where are we going, buddy? Where are we going? Ready? Ready? Go on, go, 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 go. Really? Up. Oh. Good boy. My man Willie shaking like a leaf. It's cold. What's up, boy? He jumped down there because the heater. <laughs> He's camera shy. Why are you so shy, Willie? Hey, buddy. Alrighty, folks. Over here at Motorsports World, we gotta pick up the sled. Got a gas caddy and carry case perfect if i didn't have this back seat it would have been stackable but that's all good anyways i'm not gonna have much weight in there so it's not gonna really throw me off anyhow we're gonna get her loaded up and take off all right folks while amelia is still at work and stuff i got the day out because i'm lucky you know doing these errands got my sled got everything packed up already i am going to go to training you know, I can't film in there, unfortunately, or I would. Actually, you know what? I never even asked, so scratch that. Uh, gonna go get a little workout in at Brave Martial Arts. Do some Muay Thai. You know, maybe get beat up a little bit. Who knows? And then, hopefully, we will be on our way to the lake to finally get our skidooing in, get our fishing in, get our relaxing in. Saying. Oh shit, where are we, coach? We filming in the bathroom. <laughs> we out here. We're filming in the bathroom. Me and crew Mel. Yeah, just, we're not going into the shower though. Yeah, well, we might. You never know around here. It's 2020, it's 2020 oh. these days. Oh, what a perfect time. Out here. <laughs> Brave martial arts. Crew Mel here. Crew Mel, when are you gonna come out ice fishing? I'm gonna come out ice fishing, but I'm only gonna come unless I'm sporting tough country gear. Hey! hey. You heard it here, Brave Martial Arts. Brave Martial Arts, Crew Tough Mal. Country Gear. The official brand, Tough Country Gear. Hey. All right, folks, now we're done training. Holy smokes. The temperature just went from minus one, like minus 15, my hair froze right away. Anyhow, time to go pick up the pooches, do the last little bit of getting wood and stuff, and we'll finally head on out to the cottage. All righty. We finally on the road to the lake. No thanks to freaking shit pump over here. What? <laughs> it's now dark. It's still light out. <laughs> Dylan um, was too busy eating all the chocolates that he bought me for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I had one. <laughs> uh, shit. That's, that's the kind of guy I am, you know what I'm saying? That's just who I am. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. So where are we? At Baycasters. Perfect. Stopping at Baycasters quick because we forgot our bait. So these ones all glow. Jig and a tube. Okay. No, only those ones glow. Which ones? These don't glow? I, I like, like this one. one. It's... I think these ones. Only this one. Really? Oh yeah, you might be right. Okay, definitely want a glow one. How is that the only one that glows? I want a pink one. Oh, I'll give one of each then. But the glow ones work the best. They were there. Do I want to? Sure. We we'll each get matching ones. Perfect. We got two dozen here. We got a dozen of shiners and a dozen of small chubs. Gonna hopefully get some stuff and then picked up some of these little guys. Anyways, hopefully we get something this weekend because we've all been getting skunked lately, except for Pizza Cala. 
Where are we, Amelia? We made it to the lake. Finally, at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock at the lake. So we got the four wheeler attached. <laughs> the old Mets here, the big old trailer. Well, he just got unstuck, but now I'm back here by myself having a walk. This is great. It's been three days and I'm still walking, I'm trying to find my way back to the cabin in the dark by myself. All right, we're finally fully set in to the cabin. Relaxing, having the beer. Got Achilles set up. Put the egg in his food. He's already ate it. Hi. <laughs> this gorgeous one over here. Tormenting, as always. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, folks. All right. I didn't start off right away going to go fish because, you know, I got a little bit of work to do here, you know. Everybody knows me. I always got a hard on for my solar panels and stuff. So first thing I did this morning was I got up there. Cleaning them babies off. All right, now in the summertime, when I put those in, I also had to redo the roof, right? We got a big old mess over here. You know, I tarped her up. I've been working away at this for about an hour and a half, and I can't even get the tarp off it. Oh my God. Well, you know what? Oh, I just have to call it quits. I just have to call it quits. Greg gets a, get another hand once Pizza Cali gets up here. We'll get it uh, uncovered at least. And then the following weekend, I'll come up and take it away. Holy smokes. Anyways, we're gonna go and get at the fish. Hey, a few of them died. Not too many. I got some snow put in there right now because water was getting a little bit of warm because I'm an idiot. And, you know, forgot them. Forgot them beside the wood stove last night, so anyhow. Kelly's hyped up, full of beans, ready to go. Oh, for fuck's sake. The tracks are frozen. Uh, it's a wee bit chilly outside. So, fire we're going. All that stuff. So we're in 16 feet of water here. That uh, that hook is uh, at 13 feet with a jig head and an emerald shiner. This one here, just another jig with a little chub. I'm gonna just hope that there's maybe some big crappy down there, who knows? Honestly, from my luck here, 16 feet means no luck, but I'm not gonna move the shack just yet. I know about 40 feet that way if there's a 30, 35 foot hole, and that's usually where I have luck when it comes to crappy, but if the ice shack was already set up here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it here. See if I can manage to land anything. Oh, alrighty folks, after all that, we went from over there to here. Got ourselves in 34, 33 feet of water. All right, whew. There's only, <laughs> Only enough energy in the electric auger to drill one hole. So I'm gonna cycle between the two things I was working with earlier. Anyhow, it's been over an hour since I did that last update. Now let's hope I can get something here and this wasn't a waste of time. Well, morning bite was a bust, folks. Anyhow, we're gonna come back out at 4.30, 5 o'clock and hopefully get on something, all right?
All right, folks, we're back out here for the evening bite. Amelia has decided to join me, of course. Yeah. Feels good. <laughs> I am. She's just jigging a, a minnow head, and I'm doing a full minnow. And then we just got one large, uh, medium sized shiner minnow there, dead sticking. Hopefully, we get on something this time. Oh. You have him on? I think I might have him on. Oh no, he's off. <laughs> Well, that was the first bite. Sure, you'll get another one. I got my fish. Good sign. Yeah. Alrighty. So, we're just using these little two jigs that we picked up from bait casters, but they're glow in the dark. So I just charged Amelia. She has a small one. Hopefully that gets the crappie and stuff, and hopefully this one's still small enough for crappie, but it is pretty big, so I might not be able to land any. But, however, if there's walleye or pike even down there, they will might grab it. So, at this point, we're trying anything, because we're not getting anything. Had a few marks and one nibble, and that's about it. We really just had our first bite. I think it was a little crappie, or a bluegill. Go back down there. It's still there. See? Can you see on my screen? That's it. Right there. That's me. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Go down, meet him. Maybe you'll get him this time. A little baby one. You got a fish? You got a fish? Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't even feel like a bite. Oh. Oh no. Around caught. the transducer. Hey, black crappy. Black crappy, a little Atta one. girl. A little one. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty small, eh? Jeez. Yeah. But at least they're down there. Yeah, at least they're down there. There you go. Glow in the dark one worked. Yes, yeah, sir. Glow in the dark jig worked. That's what we're missing the whole Perfect. time. Perfect. <laughs> nice little black crappy. How does it make you feel? You didn't get skunked. Good. Yeah. Finally caught one after, what, two hours now? Yeah. I'm glad. So they're here. They're here. Here, look, I'll let them keep the minnow head and I'll throw them back in the no, water. No, don't do that. Why wouldn't I? Gets to eat. You gotta take the hook off first, you fool. Look. Is that Achilles? Is that weird seeing another fish eat another fish? I think that's weird. Here, take it off for me. Just, or hold the fish. Which one? Can you do? Look how little and cute it is. Mm -hmm. Here, take it off. Here, take it off. There. It's so nice. Wow. Charity work. Ready? <laughs> well, that's everything for tonight, folks. <laughs> Amelia got the one fish. The one and all. Anyways, we're going to be back at it tomorrow morning. So, anyway, stay tuned. Here we go. Yeah.